Despite advances in natural language technology, machine translation remains a difficult task. We present a visualization of the uncertainty within machine translation results, which exposes the options considered by the algorithm. Our visualization has been embedded in a cross-lingual instant messaging chat client. Here is our interface. We have added speech balloons to the video to allow for easy reading of the inputs. A German conversation partner writes an instant message to an English recipient. The English recipient will receive the message as a lattice graph, in which every path through the lattice represents a hypothesis about the translation. Every node in the graph represents a word. Nodes that were not translated are shown as photo nodes, with photo results retrieved from an internet search engine to help clarify the meaning of the original, untranslatable word. Words aligned at the same horizontal position are alternative translations for the same German word. The blue background encodes the uncertainty about the translations. The darker blue represents a strong confidence score, while the fuzzy pale backgrounds are more uncertain translations. The algorithm's best guess about the complete translation is indicated by green lines connecting nodes along the bottom of the graph. This can be interactively changed by the user to indicate a better translation alternative. In this way, the human user and the computer work together to find the best translation. Through exposing the uncertainty in the translations, we can help people understand when they should trust a translation or when they should ask their conversation partner for clarification. The same technique can be applied to speech recognition. In these cases, we find that some isolated words are highly uncertain leading to a multitude of alternatives, whereas in the translation system, the uncertainty usually results in a few alternatives for an entire phrase. Through understanding the uncertainty and interactively improving the quality of translation and speech recognition, we also hope to improve the quality of computer-mediated communication.